Welcome to VCR Party, the show where Nick and I, we watch VHS tapes from our collection of 10,000 videos, and then uh, we laugh about them, and we sing about them, and we dance about them, and we jump up, and we hit our feet, and we jump around. Yep, we hit our feet. <laughs> I think you explained it pretty well. That's the premise of the show. That's what we do. We like to start off with a found footage festival classic. Pop it in. Still don't have a graphic for this one. And I, I just, I don't know what got me thinking about this, but, oh, I know, jazzercise. So... I've been cutting together a montage of exercise videos, not even close, okay. of, um, of exercise videos that all bastardized the word exercise. Jazzercise was the first one to do it. This was mm. 1983, I think. Yeah, somewhere around there. Uh, 1982, my, 1982. I think my mom did it. I remember Jazzercise. I remember yeah. seeing bumper stickers that said Jazzercise. I remember it was a big deal. There was an album before there was a video, yep. and this was... Um, uh, she had studios in Los Angeles, but then this became an empire. And there was sequels. I think we have five different Jazzercise videos. This is the original. And this whole video is solid gold. I rewatched it today, and uh, it's all amazing. We, we, it's because of this woman. Like, yeah. She's just, yeah, she's the force. She is um, enthusiastic, and she just has no filter. She doesn't think about what she's saying. She just says things, goes into songs. I bet there's no script at all. No, she's kind of a female yeah. Richard Simmons. I think this was on our exercise video montage in volume one, maybe, or two. Uh, but this is our DVD. It's also on our website, foundfootagefest.com. Let me play some jazzercise for you. This is some best, some greatest hits I cut together from okay. the original tape, 1982. How'd they get the elephants to, I don't know. to dance? I don't know. Look at that. That's impressive. Electric shocks. Oh. <laughs> Lips up those legs. This is called an attitude. Of the Come on, find your pelvis. I know you've got one, and it's okay to move it, for heaven's sake. Yes. Yeah. She's a Kristen Wiig character. Yeah. You gotta find that doggy body. Okay, that's good. Looks good. Feel the feet. Don't your thighs love it? I just hear them squealing with delight. Yeah. Now we're going to make a free throw right here. Here. Ha. Here. Woo. Here. Woo. And you win. <laughs> yep, that's how basketball goes. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. She's definitely making that up as she goes along. They probably had an yeah. outline, just like now it's going to be the Lakers section of, of the but show. But I wonder if it was kind of like what well, the reason people listened to Howard Stern back in the day was like, I just want to see what she's going to do next. Yeah. Because you would constantly it's insane. be bombarded with insanity. Insane people are fun. Yeah. They're yeah. fun to watch. I guess so. So that's, yeah, Judy Shepard. I think she's still around and, and still has Jazzercise. It's still Let's a track thing. her down. I'm going to play some more Jazzercise on the way out today, oh, yeah? like a deep cut. Okay, cool. Uh, what else we got? Uh, some other oh, things on the outline sheet Yeah, here. so um, Toy Story came out on Friday, and a uh, big blockbuster movie. Did you like Toy Story, the originals? I've never seen any of them. Really? I've never seen one of them. But you said you like Pixar stuff now. You watched some stuff recently. You were basically saying, I'm an adult, I don't watch baby things. And then you've watched, That's true. You watched Inside Out, and you loved it. Oh, I love that one. Well, Toy Story is just as adult, just as interesting as Inside Out. Okay. And I, uh, I mean, I will watch it, but like, yeah. if I'm gonna watch like a bunch of, if I have like a lineup, there's like a cartoon. I don't know. Well, it's. I I'm mean, sure it's good. Yeah, they're all great. Uh, Toy Story three might be the best one, but um, I haven't seen four yet. But anyway, we had a video in our collection that this made me think of called the Christmas Light, 
We used to show this in our VHS cover slideshow. It was an early computer animated Christmas movie that we had found oh, on yeah. VHS. I went looking around today for the tape. I couldn't find it anywhere. I remember looking for it back uh, around Christmas time because, yeah, yeah, it looked so promising. And we never even watched it no. while we could find it. So never. it's probably somewhere in here. If anybody wants a summer internship just to look for the video, sign up on our website. I think it's gone because it wasn't a big, I think it was in a big like clamshell, wasn't it? No, it was in a purple uh, sleeve, just a regular oh, cardboard a regular sleeve. sleeve. Okay. But I would, uh, yeah, I looked everywhere. I couldn't find it. Yeah. But I have, I still, we scanned it in to use for our book. Yeah. So I have the scan. I wanted to show you the cover because uh, this is Toy Story related. You'll see uh, that not all computer animation is the same. This is from 1997. Uh, let me back up. The Christmas, I just want to show you the, uh, the full picture here first. Yeah. There's the Christmas light. You can see Santa there with looks like a, maybe Mrs. Claus. I hate their legs <laughs> so much. <laughs> and how plane. skinny their legs are. An airplane, maybe instead of a sleigh. And then, yeah, here's the uh, starburst and the, the circle. If you liked Toy Story, you thought it was okay, <laughs> you'll love the Christmas light. With an asterisk, with right an after, asterisk. after so light. You turn the tape around, and then you can see that on the back it says right here, Toy Story is in no way associated with the Christmas light. So lest you think that this 22 uh, also, minutes... 22 minutes. Yeah, it was a yeah. short Christmas movie. Um, but yeah, we need to get another copy of this somewhere. If anybody finds a, a Christmas light, it was a Scimitar release, I think. Yeah, Scimitar's uh, our favorite. Out in the Best wild. Best distributor. Yeah. Please send us uh, that because uh, it's in no way associated with uh, Toy Story. Yeah. Um, today we had a guy swing by who's been a longtime fan of the show, and he stopped by to see the, the place, and, he, he, and we showed him the stuff and everything, and we are like, maybe we should have some sort of an open house or something with our... You know, with they a, with have our... like um, in the neighborhood. There's a lot of artists, so they yeah. also often have open studios where people can go in and see what kind you of. You get art. some like wine or something, something nice. You got a nice drink or something. People come in and they can mingle and they can look at. We can pop stuff in the in the video. So people, we're talking about yeah. we're talking about doing an open house here, uh, and then and then parlaying it also with a show. Like if we do a show at the Bell House right down the street, we can do like one stop. Like we'll have the party here. Yeah, drinks, we'll... pre-show cocktails. And then if I wanted to get real ambitious, like the night before, maybe the night after, I could do a tedium night. Maybe I could rent out like Freddy's or something. And, sure, I'm and busy, do like, but yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I think that'd be fun. But it'd be like all tedium all night long, just like nothing but? Well, we're trying for September 21st to show at the Bell House. I just sent them an email, so hopefully that happens. And uh, so, yeah, we could maybe do an early, um, just for patrons, we would have like a private event here, open house beforehand, and then the yeah. show. So, yeah. Uh, Hit us up on Patreon. You got that thing? Uh, and uh, we'll give you details about that. I as think we that get could closer. be a fun thing. Um, so, Nick, do you, so you're not a coffee drinker, right? Do not like coffee. Okay, but you like tea, right? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Do you like tea? DM? Roll the graphics, Steve. No, it's a bait and switch. <laughs> I got you him. Got me. I got him. Yeah, there it comes. Yeah. That's, what, that's my new favorite thing, is like sneak in. Yeah. DM. Coffee's always been too bitter for me. It never acquired a taste. Yeah. yeah. But we can talk about that more in, in your corner. Um, you should get, have you given it a shot though? I it? did. I went to a place called Blue Bottle and I had iced coffee and it was a slow drip one. It drips for like 48 hours. That's really powerful. It was powerful, but because of the slow drip, it got the acidity, so it wasn't as bitter. Okay. And uh, that coffee I could tolerate, but I wouldn't make a habit okay. of it. Okay. If you weren't able to hear what Nick was talking about, he's talking about why he doesn't like coffee and the last time he tried coffee. Yeah, hit me up on Patreon. I'll explain the whole thing. <laughs> uh, all right. So last weekend, no, two weekends ago, we did finally did our CyberVision experiment. Yeah. So here's the video. This Don't, is CyberVision. You're not giving the results I'm not giving yet. In, no, I'm not giving away. Okay. The, no results will be given away. Um, so what we did is this is a hypnosis video f to become a better bowler. And so the plan was to go bowling, me, Nick, and Tommy, our buddy who's actually a good bowler, to go bowling in the afternoon, come back to Nick's place, watch this video, then go back and bowl and see if our bowling scores improved. And we have answers. I'm not going to give them away here because we're going to edit it into a little piece. Maybe in the next couple weeks yeah. we'll, we'll play that. But... Um, while we were watching this, so so you didn't, Nick didn't, well, we'll explain it later, but during this, during, while we were watching it, during the, the middle part, um, there was a part 
that was so good and tedious, but it was actually kind of action packed too. So I, you might I haven't like this. seen this because I was the control study. I wasn't watching. So yeah, Nick was the control study. So he just sat in the room and read while Tommy and I watched this. And when it came to this part, I'd never seen this part before, and it was so tedious and beautiful. And just, I'm just, can we observe silence during sure, this? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Of course. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. This is all about striking. <laughs> you didn't cut this together this no. way. No, this is oh. the off the tape. This way it gets better. Watch this part. Is it all the same strike? Hold on. Yeah, it's always the same. Oh. Going faster? Is it building? like the secret, you know, where the, the more you think about it, the more it manifests. That's the idea here. I don't know the secret. Well, it's the book that says that if you will something to happen, it will happen. Oh. Well, this is like watch, just watching something. Isn't that different than the secret? No, it's the power the of positive thinking. about like thinking. visualizing in your brain, right? Right. This is like... It visualizes for you. Right. But I think it's the same idea. Because you're not doing it. You're just watching it. I thought I asked for silence during this. Yeah, well, we're on two and a half minutes of silence, so I don't know if that's exactly getting new viewers in, but... but... I love that we still start the show with Joe's Tedium Corner. That, there we go. Yeah, we're you all love done. That, huh? We're all okay, done. Okay, wow. Let him hit this last one here. See, this is interesting. I like watching that. How long was the video that you watched? Because I was in the other room. It was a full hour, but 30 minutes of it was for right-handers. The other 30 minutes was for left-handers. Oh, so yeah. had I been watching, I'm left-handed. We would have had to watch the whole hour. We would have the whole thing, yeah. Okay. Um, well, yeah, we'll have the results of that. Maybe we'll do an all-bowling episode, and we'll have Tommy on. And we could, oh, yeah. I think we could have an all-bowling episode. We have episode. a whole bowling section over there. There's exactly, so much bowling. Yeah. I think that would be fun. We could do bowling-related things, maybe some pool, billiard stuff in there as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a fun show. Yeah, and Tommy, is a, he loves gambling on bowling, too, so that, oh, yeah. that could be a fun yeah, to talk about. Yeah, do some about. gambling in there. Well, I was looking for an excitement corner. Let's roll the graphic for that. <laughs> Boom! Here's Jigs. There's Jigs, everybody. Um... Jigs is an exclamation point video, so you know it's exciting. I think we featured this a few weeks ago in yeah. uh, exclamation points. We, and yeah. and uh, the reason I was thinking about that is we're later in the show we're going to do uh, a v VCR or VHS tape slideshow uh, where we hold up tapes, and it's going to be all question marks. So uh, this Punctuation got, related. Punctuation yeah. related. It's, the, it's part of a month-long series we're doing here. <laughs> But this one, For punctuation yeah, month. it's a fishing video by Babe Winkleman. Who never watched it. I've seen this cover a million yeah, times. I'm excited to see either. what's on Popped it. I Popped it in today. And Babe Winkleman is a famous TV fisherman. And you, I think we know Babe Winkleman for his uh, fishing bloopers video. But here's the controversy. We do, think do, most do, of them are fake. No, that's Bill Dance. Oh, Bill Dance. Yeah. You're right. Babe Winkleman, but he has a bloopers video too. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, Jigs, Whoa. here's what got me thinking about excitement. <laughs> Look at this pamphlet that comes in. I, I, Feel the it? excitement. 
So how could we not do this for oh, Nathan yeah. Seidman Corner? Oh, yeah. You can order directly from Babe Winkleman here. Yeah, I'm sure he fulfills the orders, right? Oh, wow, look at this. Brand new from Babe, you can get hats and uh, sunglasses here, too. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, and shirts on the back with different fish. Oh, my God. I want to just, I wish I had the money to just send it into these. Is that actually Babe Winkleman right there? Is that the... Uh... I think it is Babe, yeah, with the beard. Yeah, but I felt like he was older. Maybe this is like some of his early well, stuff. Well, Bill Dance is the... All right. No, no, Babe Winkleman's always been an old man. Hmm. From Minnesota. Well, this is from 1989, so... Hmm. All right. This is the intro to Jigs. Um, excitement might be stretching it, but let's take a look. Jigs. 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 While I'm on the road doing fishing seminars or filming for one of our television series, the most common question people ask me is, what's your favorite lure? Fact is, is no lure is the catch-all for lure. every fishing situation. But usually when they ask me a second time, I wind up talking about jigs. In my opinion, <laughs> they're the most versatile lure ever invented. The reason I say that is, first, because jigs are unnatural for fishing on or near the bottom where many fish feed. Oh, Secondly, yeah. they'll go hand in hand with all kinds of live bait, which often can jig. make a difference between success and failure. Also, jigs can be presented in more strike enticing ways than any other lure I know big of. And finally, they'll catch just about any fish that swims. Add it all up, and you have what I call one That's heck of a young, lure. Young Hi, I'm Dave yeah. Winkleman, and thanks for joining me on this very special video. All right, that's it. Uh, so feel the excitement, everybody. It's Nick's Excitement Corner. Yeah. Roll the outro, Steve. Um, uh, I'll be honest, I've, I've seen more exciting videos that you've played. Yeah, uh, uh, but uh, the, pamphlet, out of stuff? the pamphlet said feel the excitement, so I thought it was appropriate. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. no, there's plenty more you exciting know, Somebody footage. else mentioned in the comments, like, why does Nick get to roll his outro and I don't get to roll my outro? Because it respects the audience. <laughs> Asked and answered. Uh, <laughs> but the audience is the person who said that thing. Oh, well, it's probably a vocal minority, I would guess. All right, wow. uh, shall we get into show and tell? I'm excited. Let's we got some good ones. Roll it up. Show and tell. Um, I'll start it off because I think you're ending pretty strong, aren't you? Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's show and tell some videos. Okay, so I was watching sports videos last week. Yeah. Uh, a lot of shuffle videos. And I popped in this Chicago Blackhawks one, Traditions on Ice. It was exclusive for Blockbuster Video. It was right after they won the Stanley Cup. I don't know which year it was. But it was also sponsored by Coors Light. Right there? Oh, they're just plastered with sponsors. Oh, yeah. Everybody got in on this one. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to show you the end of the video. It's very melodramatic. Yeah. They, they set it to uh, Louis Armstrong's Wonderful wonderful World. Yeah. And um, as they're, like, hitting the pucks and, like, the fans, the asshole fans are, like, pumping their fists. And um, then it goes, well, I'll just let it play for itself. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. I want to give you a little bit more Louis Armstrong here. <laughs> It's a very emotional song. It's I'm a, sure that's what Louie had in mind. Yeah. This. Old Satchmo was thinking about the Blackhawks. What a wonderful hockey season. <laughs> I want to see a slow motion of a fan vomiting on somebody. <laughs> a fight. Because at this time of year, you can't hide inside a sweater. Right here now, <laughs> yes, I remember that commercial. This is uh, one of Louis Armstrong's best songs. <laughs> yeah. It's a wonderful world. If you take it off, you don't want to put it back on. Reach for the silver bullet, the one that won't slow you down. It's the right beer now. Yeah. Yeah. I hope this video is free at Blockbuster. Uh, Steve, you have a... Uh, you just might owe the world an apology. That was not from when they won the uh, Stanley Cup. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, what, the last you know? Before 2010, the last time they won the Stanley oh, Cup you, you was... checked on the internet, 1961. Though. Well, I knew because I knew you got it wrong. The I comments that. were blowing up, yeah. so you had to correct I, I, you Hold know, on, I gotta what, be on what years? Tell, tell me some more. Let's just make sure... 2010, 1961, those were... Your, oh, those are the two years? Yeah, well... So what wonderful world, why were they... They didn't even win the Stanley Cup. Correct. Louis Armstrong was a big <laughs> hockey fan. He was just a big, diehard 
Uh, Blackhawks fan. Uh, I will apologize. Who am I apologizing to? Everyone. The, the audience and okay to Blackhawks. I would just fan? do it straight to Tape Boy. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry tape buddy. Boy. I think that's who we should direct all of our apologies yeah. to. Well, I have one. I'll, I'll do it later. You have an apology coming up? Sort of, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Um, the, that that uh, chorus commercial reminds me of The Simpsons where there's like feminists protesting yeah. and then some like, look at those feminists. And they, they spray them down with water and then they turn into bikini babes. It's yeah. that blatant. Yeah, they don't really have babes anymore in beer commercials. They can't. They? It's, it was like... It's like, well, it's not going to be sweater weather much longer. And it's a girl, like, getting hosed down in a swimsuit. I mean, yeah. uh, God. right from It's a Wonderful you... World to It's the Right Beer Now. It's the Right Beer. We got to play that for to... John Glazer. That's what I was going to say. I wanted to save that one for Glazer. I want to have Glazer back. Yeah. Because I feel like that. Oh, he would love Bring that. him back. Yeah. Bring, yeah. All right. Uh, my first video. Okay. This is uh, Peppermint Park. You ever watch any Peppermint Park? Never even heard of it. Okay, this is no a... Toy Story, no. What was the other one? Notebook. Um, Notebook. No, what was the one? The Secret. Oh, The Secret. It's not a movie. It's a series of best-selling books. But, but... these are things that I haven't oh, seen I see. or, or okay. familiar with, and no Peppermint Park. Look on the back here. This is a this is a children's show um, that I guess a lot of people watched. It was. Uh, oh really? Yeah, it was on television. There's uh, several I like video what I'm tapes seeing of back it. Here. Yeah, look at the back. This just is a tantalizing. There's a rhino and a pig man. Let's move a little closer yeah. so you can see that pig man. Yeah. So yeah. Um, this is volume three. Yeah. It's from 1987. This is um, an up. Oh, this is a Hollywood video rental, so you could rent this. Mm. Uh, and I just queued up a, a song that teaches us about the letter M. You know, we had um, Ryan Dillon, who plays Elmo on Sesame Street, yeah. on. And I think the one thing we've learned about puppets, first of all, if they're too, he told us if they're too close to being human, there's an un weird uncanny valley thing yeah. that is, is unsettling. And this is directly in that uncanny valley. So here's uh, the letter M. I'm not going to play too much of this because a little goes a long way. <laughs> Kids videos in general. Yeah. Okay. It's Ooh. me, yeah. Ernie. Today on Peppermint Park, we're introducing the letter yeah. M. Look at the It's gloves. such Look a great hair. letter. Just think of all the words that start with the M. Lack of lips. No teeth, too. No teeth, no lips. He kind of has a jankster mouth, doesn't he? Yeah. I wonder if it's squishy. It's marvelous. Magnificent. I can't imagine life without the letter M. I think you can keep playing this M for as long as you want. Sure. <laughs> In M fact, I think we should end with this. How could you get Probably just oh. fine. How could you order <laughs> we find something else. Yeah. The How could you order M&M's? Would you would you they wouldn't have named it that in the first place. Them? There'd be no words like Skittles? Mississippi, maybe mommy monkey too. How could a cow go moo without a small M? All right, that's I, probably enough how? of uh, the letter M. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I was expecting to hate that, and I really enjoyed oh, yeah? it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, I will say that I'll, you know a lot of people who traffic in VHS really concentrate on children's videos, and to us, it's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, exactly. Because it's of course it's creepy and it's unsettling. It's not intended for our right. demographic. Of course, it's going to be bad. Yeah, and especially but, low budget. And... Right, but that one sort of caught my eye. I like the guy's voice. But <laughs> it's marvelous. Yeah, kind of had. A... And that puppet was. Yeah. Incredible. You know, I didn't even get to the pig part. Well, maybe I'll as <laughs> we'll save it for another episode. Um, so I got something in the mail this week from Gary in Texas. He sent this tape. He said this is a doorman doorman slash usher training tape. Mm. It's a second generation copy. My friend made a copy of the tape when we worked at the UA Theater, the United Artists oh, yeah. Theaters. They're still around. Yep. Uh, back in 1984, but he returned the original to the theater. That was so, nice but, of him. But he did get the. He, this is the original tape that he taped it on, and it, uh, the first half is Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Gary in Texas Gary, sent this. Okay. And um, it's good. It's it's so homemade. It's the most homemade training video I've ever seen Great. in my life. And they try to be funny, and it's but like you know you can tell that like the staff was just kind of having fun. Okay, with it. So I would I, rather I, have that than yeah, exactly. Like bring I, in I, some I hot shots them. to. Yeah, I forgive them for some of the bad jokes, but this particular one, I'm, I'm just, I queued it up to this because the the two movies that happen to be playing at the theaters at this at this particular moment are gold. So okay, I worked at a movie theater. I, I yeah, this will speak to you. Stand. You must remember to stand up straight, directly behind the stand. 
This means no leaning on the stand and no loitering in the lobby. The gift of greeting and informing. And now we come to the approach. Always approach the customers with a pleasant attitude. The first thing to keep in mind when greeting a customer is to keep the conversation short and sweet. Greet the patrons with a simple welcome. Hello. Hello. Tear the ticket in half, put one half in the stand, and give the other one back to the patron. Now direct the patron to the correct auditorium. Revenge of the Nerds, really good movie. <laughs> Go right down the hall, first door on the right. Well, the doorman must realize saying. that their contact with patrons is very Holds important. Holds up. When greeting the public, you should be warm, friendly, and polite, yet firm when necessary. Chud. Chud. Starts in Chud. 10 minutes. Go that right woman's going to see Chud by minutes. herself. <laughs> Just Enjoy. one for Chud, please? You're not working a funeral home, so let's put some enthusiasm into it, shall we? Okay. Uh, the art of admittance. Uh, it is the doorman's responsibility to tear Dorman. tickets at the They're perforated right. edge. Deposit half of the ticket into the ticket stand. Uh, yeah, return to stub I had to, to the do that, we'd put them on a spike. The stub is to ensure re-entry if the patron <laughs> leaves the nerds. auditorium for any reason. At this time, it is important to watch for the correct ticket number, the Did date, came out the feature, September and the feature time on each ticket collected. I don't know. I have no clue. Once you get the hang of this, hopefully you'll be able to check Just each hoping. ticket quickly without holding up the line. Remember, at no time should the doorman end up with a whole ticket. Also, be sure that no adults have children's <laughs> going tickets, to see Chud too. and that children I was, I was two that the or over have tickets. Yeah, tickets. yeah, yeah. The kid kind of looks like a little wormser too. Oh, as yeah, a worms he could haircut. be a, a slightly younger wormser. The skill. Yeah. Wow. Um, the whole video is pretty good, actually. I watched the whole thing today, and, like, I was thoroughly entertained. That is entertaining. Um, yeah, I think you'd like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's only, like, 20 minutes long, and it's so homemade, and the same person wrote, directed, edited, they did everything. Oh, wow. It's this woman named Cheryl. I can Cheryl. appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. She probably worked at the theater. You know, people yeah. who work in movie theaters want to get into the movie business, or they like it. Right. So. I'm trying uh, to think if I have any th stories from ushering. I was bad at giving change. Oh, one time Prince rented out the entire movie theater uh, to go see Elizabeth, the, the two-hour-long Kate mm -hmm. uh, Blanchett movie. And okay. he and his wife came in through the back entrance, and it was just me and the manager working the theater that day. And he came in. He was dressed nicely, but not super like Prince. And How he, close did you get to him? I, I uh, tore... Well, I didn't have to tear his ticket, but I... I uh, he, I asked him what he wanted for concessions, and he got a cappuccino and a medium popcorn to share with his wife. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Very nice, nice gentleman. But he just had the whole theater. He had the entire himself. theater. It was on uh, like a Tuesday afternoon. Wow. So he just bought out the entire theater, and we showed That's Elizabeth. The thing. There's the so many, in, in Minneapolis, everybody has a Prince story. Yeah. There's just so many like weird, and they're always like weird Prince stories. Yeah, it was like him, and then the mystery science guys would come in sometimes, and I interned at the show, so I would let them in for free. Yeah. And then um, Sam Shepard. Would also come oh, okay. in too. That's a good so one. those were the Minnesota. All the mini all the Minnesota celebrities showed up. It was like one of those, uh, you know, art house. It was a landmark theater. Yeah. So yeah, they would I remember all come in those. Yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing Blair Witch for the first time there too. Yeah. And not having any idea what it was about, and it scaring the shit out yeah, of me. Yeah, there were lines around the corner. I had that. a. So did you guys have a thing where if you you could get a relative in for free into the theater? Did Landmark have that? Not really, but you could kind of finagle it. You yeah, because my brother worked at a theater. I can't remember which one it was, and he could get family members in. Oh. So when he and I moved to Minneapolis, he didn't work at a theater anymore. Neither of us did. But we would call up theaters that were related. So there'd be one in Edina, and there'd be one in, you know, St. Paul. Mm -hmm. And we'd call the one in St. Paul and say, hey, I'm a manager at Edina. I have an employee coming in who, who wants to see a movie for free. Oh, his name, his name is Yes, exactly. It's like their names are Joe and Andy. And so they would put our name on a list, and we would see movies for free all the time. Did you ever, did the jig ever? Uh, I never got caught, but Andy got caught Did he? Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were asking for ID, and then he just ran. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. The cowardice runs in the family. Yeah. Um, here's another one that was sent in. Uh, I'll just show you the tantalizing title, The Wand. Uh, and this was sent in by Zach. He sent in three dental videos oh, from, a from a local dental school. He describes this as a fever dream of dental technology. Love it. And it's an ad for a product called The Wand. And I want to, what? Just the fact that it's the wad and then you had to change it. To oh, yeah, wad. yeah. <laughs> I just want to yeah, it is. Joe it says, and it says, oops. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> right. I just noticed that. Yeah. The I didn't wad. know. Sure, one more time. I missed it. Yeah, yeah. okay. But uh, the wad. Oops. Oops. Uh, so Zach, uh, what a what a good egg. The funny part is the editing on this is so it gave me a headache. 
the editing is so... You know how usually you let somebody finish speaking before you cut to the next shot? They just... Well, you'll see. It's it's frenetic. Fever dream is the right word. Here's the Over one. 50. Oops, let me just rewind a little bit. Okay. This is 90s? 97. It's a fact. fact. Over 50% of dental patients fear, fear local anesthetic syringes. Now there's a revolutionary new, new. computer-controlled local anesthetic delivery system that conquers fear, fear anxiety, 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 and pain. And pain. The, WAN the WAN system from Milestone Scientific represents a 21st, An century, of a 21st century technology which will optimize students' education like this while hair. at the same time Howard. provide the best patient care possible. Virtually painless no. injections. The WAN computer injection system is an evolution in pain management in medicine and dentistry. Patients um, love there's it. There's no pain involved, but the injection is so minor compared to what I went through for years and years and years. See, if you're and watching. I never liked the dentist. I was always very fearful. No fear. It was great. No Just lip and facial numbness. They don't want any silences. Okay. Those are not talk. my edits. I feel great, yeah. yeah. No pain. It was unbelievable. I can be more productive because I can anesthetize the patient faster and get that patient out of the treatment room in the same amount of time that it took for that patient just to get numb with traditional means. Patient satisfaction. The ultimate sales benefit. Pitch video. Mm -hmm. Patient satisfaction. Easier to manage. The wand outperforms standard syringes <laughs> for traditional <laughs> infiltrations and block injections. There's the lady from before. PDL. The periodontal ligament injection what? is a site-specific alternative to the mandibular block. It avoids numbness of the lip, face, and tongue. So now they have a wand system in your practice. I think you'll find the same as I did, that it's going to have a huge impact both for your patients. Impact, impact, impact. The wand takes the fear, pain, the wand, and anxiety wand. out of local anesthetic injections. It's like the, um, <laughs> as if you can read yeah. that. The wand. The wand. Oh, there it is. Wow. It yeah. kind of reminds me of uh, like the video version of like the Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It the, is. Like the monster truck rallies. Yeah, but even that, they would let them finish one Sunday before yeah. going into the next one. <laughs> just like a patient talking, and they're just like, fear! And then they go back to the patient, <laughs> just interrupting. Like, it's, it drives me nuts as Wait, somebody who that? edits. Where did he get that? The local dental school. Oh, really? From, I don't know, Zach. I don't know where he's from. Zach, write in and let us know where you're from, because I think I threw away I like the envelope. That he, uh, I like that he did it on a Sharpie on legal, yellow legal. Yeah. I like that. And yeah. he also called it WAD. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. So thank uh, you, Zach. That's uh, the wand, everybody. Oh, I'm excited for this one. I, You know what? I actually didn't finish watching it, because I knew where they were going with this, and I just... I, 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 I stopped it so that I could watch everything fresh. Okay. So, somebody sent us this a few weeks ago. I can't remember who. I should remember... Who gave I, this video. I was excited be, when we opened this. Yes. The ele elegant napkin folding. And I was originally going to do this as a tedium corner, but I was like, no, no, this is too good for Make a meal corner. out of this Yeah, one. exactly. Now, if you look on the back here, there's a table of contents. <laughs> 32 different, I'll just zoom in here a little the bit. The names of, of fancy napkin folds. Well, there's folds. formal and there's informal. So I think the informal ones, they have a little fun with it. And the formal ones, okay. they, uh, you know, it's prim and proper. But... Um, they so the the video starts off with this woman who's saying like welcome to the world of, of napkin folding, and then she's like here are the table of contents and that and I watched the first three and I hit stop and I was like that's <laughs> so it. we don't even know I don't even know I, okay. well we're, they're they're gonna take us through all these okay. table of contents so we'll hear what napkin all these folds and they have the best names okay all right let's get this napkin folding party started uh, <clears throat> with. Folds. These are formal folds. The sachet. <laughs> the lady's slipper. Ooh. The dinner jacket. <laughs> How you I'd wipe like your like melon. spaghetti sauce yeah, on yeah. that. The melon. The candle. Uh. The bishop's hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's my hat? The swallow. The lily glass stuffer. Okay. Lily glass. The stuffer. candle fan. The Irish Ripple. You're an Irish Ripple, aren't you, Steve? The Viking Hat. Yeah, that's what Vikings wore. The yep. Algonquin. The Iris. Could have been a hat. And now our informal folds. These are a little bit more the fun. The Weekender. <laughs> the Flower Basket. The Rusty Trombone. <laughs> the Wiesbaden. The Double Fan. The Caligula. The Bouquet. 
The bow tie. The taco taco. The palm frond. The seashell. The Brooklyn style Dutch oven. <laughs> the flamingo. <laughs> the artichoke. The melinda. <laughs> The rifles. We need our own napkin fold for oh, this yeah. dinner party. The yes. The shape of a tape. That's what we need to do. The nose The gay. maid's cap. The bunion surgery. <laughs> the peacock. The double diamond. Razzle dazzle. The mountain laurel. On a pole? The waterfall. The pinwheel. The pyramid. And you can watch this whole video has every single the one of these on here. Gods. And no one appreciates these. Here are our formal folds. Wait, there's more? Our first folds. Oh, okay, okay, okay. all right. Now, now, now it's hot, okay. Yep. Wow. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. So for the, for the commenters out there, um, let's say we're having a fancy VCR party, uh, <laughs> party, <laughs> like a dinner party, and we're inviting everybody over, and we want to fold the napkins in a nice way. What will be the name of the fold <clears throat> of our VCR party napkin <clears throat> fold? So it's formal. It's not an informal fold. We're talking formal. Well, of course, this is good. Yeah, we wouldn't have anything less. It's, we're okay, it's yeah. a black tie affair. Yeah, yeah. I'm wearing my Jamaica tank top. Okay, just... sure. Well, that's yeah. So uh, let's have one informal category, one formal category. I, how do you distinguish the two? Let the commenters decide. Okay. So <laughs> you just mentioned formal or informal. Give us your name. Uh, and yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think start, so. Start them in the comments, and and then we'll we'll uh, we'll tally them all up. Uh, we'll we'll put them all together in a piece in a, on a piece of paper, and we'll declare the winner, and we'll send you a nice uh, prize. Yeah, the wad. I have my formal one. What's yeah. that? The Anna Bin Wrap. Oh, oh that's the Anna Bin Wrap. Yeah. W R A P. Yeah, instead of wrap. Damn, wow. This guy. That's good. This guy. Yeah. Uh, all right. All so right. let us know what our formal or informal napkin fold should be. The last video I want to show is uh, a tape trading classic. We, we don't have a graphic for this yet, um, but we will, because this is a segment I think people like. Um, and it's like, if you don't know what tape trading was, is before there was the internet, you would have 11th generation dubs of a thing, like the UA training video. And you'd dub that with a bunch of other crap on a tape, and you would say, what do you got? And you would arrange trades. Uh, and uh, Jack Rebney was a big one on that. And uh, yeah, yeah, like uh, Heavy Metal Parking Lot, they were uh, uh, big in tour buses. Heavy Metal dr uh, Metallica Drummer? Yeah, WFMU, yeah. Radio, you know, people like that would trade these tapes. And so this one, I forget where we first saw this. It might have been from Chunklet Magazine, the Atlanta-based uh, music magazine had a copy of this or something, but it was James Brown on a CNN show called Sonia Live. And he, I think this is, I don't know if there's ever a non-drugged out part of James Brown's career, but this was at the height of it. Yeah. He had just gotten in trouble for a domestic disturbance thing, and he was about to head out on tour, and Sonia Live had him on to talk about this event yeah and anything else to set up here no this is a classic it okay. speaks for itself this is and i i left this let it go long because i liked the intro before it actually gets to it. it's kind of it lulls you into a sense of oh it's just a normal news segment and then it gets into full james brown they call him the godfather of soul mr dynamite and the hardest working man in showbiz but very soon he may be known as the defendant Grammy-winning soul singer James Brown is about to embark on a South American tour, but it's this tour that prompted his latest brush with the law. Brown says that he and his wife had an argument because she wasn't going on the tour with him. Adrian Brown and South Carolina police say that in the argument, it resulted, as a matter of fact, in Brown assaulting his wife with a lead pipe and firing a gun at a car that she was in. These are charges that Brown denies. He was released yesterday on $15,000 bond. He joins us for, from Atlanta to discuss the charges, and we welcome you, James Brown. How did all of this trouble begin? Living in America. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong at all. You're not in any difficulty, but you're out on bond. No, I'm not. <laughs> Have all the charges been dropped? Yeah, I'm out on love. Oh, well, I, are you out on love or out of love? Which yeah, is it? Out on love. Alone from night to night, you find me. Now, James, this isn't the first time you and your wife <laughs> pro, have had a problem. Pro. Perfect Are the two of you going to be able to work this out? Let's talk about some music. 
No. You want to talk about music and yeah. you don't want to talk about what happened? No, it's all over. Well, let's talk about your tour. When are you leaving? We're leaving tomorrow. And where are you going? Rio de, Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. Brazil. Now, your, your fans will have read all about this, James. Aren't you concerned about no, that? No, the guys, the No, Dankeschön. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned because there's nothing wrong. And what are you going to say to your fans when they ask you some questions about it? I'm going to say, I feel good. <laughs> Paula's got a brand new bag. It's a man's world. Well, that's the second time we've heard that in two days. That's very interesting. Now, don't leave us, James. You stay right there. I'm we have more that we have to talk about. Well, tell us a little bit about what you're going to be Hello, doing Dad. on this tour. Uh, what you say? <laughs> what are you going to be doing on this tour? I'm going to be doing, Papa's you? got a brand new bag of living in America. Sex machine, get up off of that thing. I feel good. Jam. Yeah. Now, I understand that you I'm have real. already, James, I have to ask you one serious question here. I understand you already have started divorce proceedings. Does that mean that you're now eligible? Oh, uh, no. I'm, yes, I'm eligible. I'm single. I, I want to mingle. You want to mingle? Yeah. Now, the women love you when you get out there. Why do you think that is? What'd you say? The women <laughs> love you when you get out there. Why is that, ladies? Well, I'm asking you. Huh? Because I look good. What do you think good. that is? You I look smell good. good. I yes. feel good. And you sing good. And make love good. Oh. <laughs> well, there we are. We don't have to ask anybody else. We got that from the source. <laughs> there, there you are. <laughs> now, you're involved in publishing a gospel magazine. Tell us a little bit about that. The Second Coming. It's, uh, it's out of Augusta, Georgia. The anthem. <laughs> Tried Joseph so hard P. to concentrate. Anthem, and James Vine, one of his biases. And we're doing a fantastic job. The Second Coming. It features, uh, on this week, I think we have the Pope and, um, <laughs> I believe, the, the, Williams, the Williams brothers. Ah, mm -hmm. great. And last... So you're not going to talk about shooting have, your wife's car. We're going to I think, on the cover. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be doing a lot, a, lot, a lot of good things, and hopefully we'll get Brother Ted Turner on the cover. Ted, where you at? James, we <laughs> want to thank you for having, for being with us today Wait and a giving minute, us an opportunity. Oh, is there something more you want to say that we yeah, haven't covered? Yeah, I want to say a lot of things. Okay, I go love ahead. You. I love America. I love everybody. Well, I feel good. It sounds to me as though you're not troubled by any of this at all. This is a man's world. Thanks for reminding <laughs> us of that. Every once in a while, we forget. Get up on Remember it again. <laughs> get James, good luck on your tour. Thanks for being with us. I guess we're going to hear lots more. Hasta luego. Okay, hasta luego. <laughs> That's oh. it. That's the end of the tape. Hasta luego. Uh, uh, one of the greatest interviews in television history. It's right so there. good. I'm so glad somebody recorded it and then passed it around to friends. Oh, I, I want to know I more about I want to see more of his interviews. Yeah. I wish I could be like, because sometimes we do these interviews, these like morning interviews and stuff, and like, uh, I think we're, we're doing one coming up here. Um, I want to be like that. Yeah, like James Brown? He could get away with it. Do you I think, think he was on drugs during that, or do you think he's just naturally insane? Uh, probably a little bit of both. I saw that biopic about about him that was terrible, but uh, he seemed to have some erratic behavior during the later part of his life. Well, that that Mike Judge show too. The one oh with yeah, the, uh, uh, the, the tales, tour bus. Tales, tales from, from the, the tour, tour bus. bus. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so good. His was one of the best ones. I think they yeah. included the Sonia Live thing in there. I think they did. Yeah, yeah. it's legendary. So yeah. now you've seen it. For those who are too young to have been around during the tape trading days, I'm gonna. You know what? For our next interview. Coming up here, I'm going to just do a bunch of drugs. For hey! <laughs> I'm going to do the sex machine and I make love good. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, that's it for uh, show and tell. Show and tell. We'll roll the outro graphic and we'll get into the rest. All right. Okay, let's do the VHS I make love cover. Good. <laughs> good. Well, I'm glad you do, James. I, <laughs> she's like the perfect straight man. You're right. She's just like, yeah. Every so often we forget. <laughs> uh, we talked about uh, punctuation, and now we're going to be. Um, oh, punctuation gets everybody fired up. It does. Well, videos. There's boring ones that are just statements. Some yeah. have exclamation points. We covered those. We want to do videos that ask VHS questions. Um, and uh, why don't I start off here? Okay. With a pretty basic question, I think this is a good place to start. Where did I come from? Okay. Howie Mandel is going to take yeah. you through that. Um, are you going to heaven? Oh, another really basic yep. fundamental it says, question. This video will reveal the answer. Mm -hmm. It will actually have the answer wow. on this. 
A little more specific. Can death begin in the colon? <laughs> <laughs> this video also has the answer. Uh, hey, what about me? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> what am I, chopped liver? It's another uh, introspective. Uh, we're throwing a little curveball here. What is real? But maybe it's what is real. Oh, it's a statement because there's what no is question real? mark. Yeah. No, there's no question mark. Oh, interesting. What? is real. Let me get back to a question. Too Jewish? <laughs> I don't think there's any <laughs> such thing as too Jewish. This is a one-man show. 100 minutes. Uh, crying. What can I do? And your answer in parentheses is never shake a baby. <laughs> oh, I see. All right. They didn't say like crying, baby crying. No. They just said crying in right. general. Yeah, then it just jumps to a conclusion that you're going <laughs> to shake a baby to reduce the crying. All right, here's we're getting into some questions that don't make any sense. This is, which way, weather? It's just, it's, it's not proper terrible. syntax, yeah. Hygiene, colon. What is it? <laughs> what is hygiene? Yeah. Starting from square one on this one. Here's a video hosted by young Tim Allen. What do you say to a naked lady? <laughs> the video's this, terrible, this video by also It's answers. so bad. Yeah, he's hosting the uh, Nudes of Poppin'. Uh, it's very incriminating. In Indiana. I, he got busted for coke, too, yeah. right? I oh, think this is like during did. his coke days, definitely. Yeah. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is just a mouthful. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna read it correctly, because I'm gonna have to turn it over. Okay, here it is. Am I not here who am your mother? Great question. Great question. Is that a Bible verse, or is that like somebody fucked up while they were writing this on the title? That's just complete nonsense. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Am I not here who, who am, am your, your mother? mother? Too Jewish? <laughs> so those are the uh, VHS-related questions. There we go. That All was right. fun. Uh, let's move on to uh, an apology. Okay, this, you, you, you teased this before. Yeah, I got really, but this it, is a, an apology retraction, and this comes from Reese, who a um, couple weeks ago... Do you ago, want to direct it at Tate Boy? Sure. Okay. A few weeks ago, Reese, who uh, sang jingles with us, uh, he would, we, when we played commercial jingles, he would um, <laughs> sing along to them. And then during our singing and dancing episode, George cut him together. And Reese got in touch with me, and he said, we sent him a copy of Bunyan Surgery, um, which, yeah. by the way, these are for sale. Oh, yeah. This is a, a long-running tape. If you didn't watch, watch us in 2018, Bunyan Surgery is this legendary tape we found in a dumpster. We watched it. You can order a hermetically sealed copy. Yep. Dip, dipped in the dumpster where I found hand the dipped. Nick hand-dipped each one of those into a dumpster. The dumpster that the original, its mother was found in, it's recorded directly from its mother. It's, it's one three generation and a half away. Hours, right? Or two, three, three, uh, three hours. hours solid. And we, we scanned in both the uh, spine label and the face label. and have, it's ex uh, It looks exactly the made same. Make color copies, and then we give you a handwritten note. Yep. So you can order that on our website, foundfootagefest.com. And we sent one to him. Hand typed, but whatever. Hand typed. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Reese said, you need to take your apology back because on July 31st, I apologized for calling. I mentioned that VR Troopers was in there. And then we found out later it was Superhuman Samurai Squad, Samurai Cyber Squad. <laughs> and uh, I love how careful you are. And it turns out he watched the whole thing. VR Troopers is on the tape. Oh, really? And he said, you need to retract the apology. So I've written a retraction oh, okay. that I'll deliver now to... Tape, tape boy. boy. Started off with Tape Boy. Tape Boy. On July 31st, 2018, in an episode of VCR Party, during a clip from Bunyan Surgery, I apologized for stating that the tape contained a program called VR Troopers, when in fact it contained the program Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. However, after the release of Bunyan Surgery on VHS on the Found Footage Festival store, I've learned from viewers that the tape did indeed contain the program VR Troopers, in addition to Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, rendering my apology moot. I'd like to formally retract my apology from almost a year ago and proudly reiterate that each copy of Bunyan Surgery will contain at least one episode of VR Troopers featuring your favorite characters, Ryan Steele, JB, and Caitlin. And as they famously said, Troopers transform, we are VR. And tonight, America, Tape Boy, we're all VR. Thank you very much. Apology wow. retracted. Man, I wish you guys could hear the silence in the room right now. I mean, yeah. 
Well, well the, the it was question a powerful is, retraction. Yeah. Wow. Um, I don't remember it at all. Well, personally. Reese did. Yeah. <laughs> The, the lesson is everyone pays more attention to this show than you do. <laughs> I've never rewatched an episode <laughs> no, once. <laughs> it's an afterthought. Uh, do we want to unbox I'm, I'm basically things? James Brown when it comes to yeah. the show. <laughs> huh, what did you say? What was that? Yes, well, we know. <laughs> You're Sonya and I'm James yeah, Brown. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, should we open some boxes or should we get to nice things? Let's open some boxes. Okay. I always get excited about that. We got a I couple. feel like we should do that more yeah, often. Yeah, we could use some more uh, submissions. And by the way, the... Uh, no, we couldn't. Actually, we're fine. All right. We're, we're doing fine. It's just fun to get boxes. It is. And don't don't just send us anything. Send us like the UA theater. Like, send us good shit We've like been that. getting some um, entries to the sweepstakes, but we could use more of those. That's still going oh, yeah, for yeah. Tape Boy and his friends. I think once we, we get that the... Up, the uh, once we get the Tape Boy family, I think once people see what they're they're playing for, we'll get more. It hasn't Steve, been... Steve, will you, will, will you read what the uh, address is again? Send your name and address to VCR Parties Bullshit Sweepstakes Part 2, colon. This time it's for a tape boy like doll. 117 9th Street, number 102, okay. Brooklyn, New York, 11215. I also wanted to hear the top part, but yeah. Can Sorry, you give me Joe. the other box yeah, so yeah. we can... Uh... Oh yeah, this is a big one. We've had this one for a while. I found this one like underneath the thing over there. It's heavy. Oh, this is like the, stuff. the Red Rider no, BB it's, gun. It was, it was the like... guy... Uh, from St. Paul, who gave us um, uh, Branson, or no, no, uh, Bronson, number one family Bronson. Oh, really? Yeah. Holy crap! Oh. California raisin costumes. Oh. Wait, that's been sitting in a box for so wow, long. Wow, you can put your arms through it. Put it on. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. Smells um. a little musty. <laughs> <laughs> These are children's costumes, by the way. Um. This one is sent by uh, my buddy uh, Brady in Minneapolis. He sent me this one, and uh, he sent some cool things. Okay, how's it? How is it? Feels great. Yeah, can you see through it? Smells great. Feels great. Yeah. There's there's holes for your nose to breathe through, and then oh yeah, there's the eyes. Yeah, here's okay. another raisin. Um, th here's uh, it's easy to play the bode saltery. Okay. It, it, yeah. It looks easy. It looks really easy. It, I think you'll like this video. Did you see this video? It's easy to play the bowed sultry. <laughs> sultry. Uh, uh, vocal workout video. I, yep, that's always good. And then uh, tiger, Tauger Zong, I is Mung. Okay. That's All right. Fun. Looks like, like some good. Hold on, hold on. Good tapes in here. I like the back set here. Yeah. All right. This one caught my eye. School stuff, ninety four, ninety five. So <laughs> pop I'm it in. All right, put it on. School stuff. You just hope for the best. This one's called the neighborhood tape, hand labeled. Okay. That looks cool. The value of completing a task. <laughs> you're the just, value of completing a you task. You just have tedium corner on your mind right now. Oh, oh, yeah. it. School stuff. And where are you now? Um, um, I mean, this is this is stressful. I'd like to sing a little song for you. Uh, I don't think I'm November 29th. I call <laughs> That sounds good. You gotta wait for the intro first. I'm excited to watch the rest of this. Okay. <laughs> but not right now. <laughs> this one looks cool. This is uh, Let me, uh, how to do clay animation with this lady. I think that could be neat. Okay. Um. All right, what are we doing now? Are we, uh... And Edna Eagle, keeping the memory of a loved one alive. Pop it in! I have no in. idea what this is. Pop that shit in. Oh, I'm it's gonna... a former uh, rental. It looks educational. Oh, I'm going to rip this thing apart. Should I not put this on if I'm going to rip it apart? Uh, no, we can save it. We could have Marty wear it. Okay. Well, no, try it. I think it'd be a good photo. Okay. Be a good image. Yeah, it'd be a good image. You're right. <sighs> Uh, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna rip. And it's really hot, too, wearing this. Okay. All right, here we go. This is it. Looks this is good. as far as I'm getting. Is it on? Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Do we have time for nice things? Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what Edna Eagle is. Oh, it looks good. Once upon a time, there was a certain high mountain called Eagle Mountain. Yeah. 
many families of eagles nested there, high up near the top. On an ordinary day, though, you'd never expect right. to see well, an eagle. We'll, uh, we'll watch the rest of this and get back to you, but it looks like it might have some promise. Uh, yeah, there's some good stuff in there, especially yeah. the, the uh, California raisins things <laughs> that we're wearing. Yeah. Um, all right, this is the nice thing that I wanted to show. Okay, sure. Um, so, we're doing a show in, I think we're doing a show in Montana. You remember this? Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're driving Missoula? from, like, Idaho. We're driving from Idaho to Montana. Can I take this off? Yeah, let's take this yeah. off. Yeah. Thank you for it. sending it. It's not like yeah. we're ungrateful, but no, it just, but it's it a lot. It was one of my favorite parts of the show, watching you guys wear that. Yeah? yeah. I was starting to get claustrophobic. Yeah, it was, um, uh, they and smell musty. good to me. But thank um, you. Okay, so we're up. we're doing a show in in Montana. We're coming from Idaho, and it's a it's like to tour out there. We've only done one tour out there because everything's so few and everything's it's hard so to far. Get. Yeah. And you're going through mountains and everything. So we stop for gas, and uh, no, no, no. We're driving, and we're looking for gas because there's no gas stations around there. And then all of a sudden, we come across a um, prison, an old prison. Yeah. And then uh, you could take tours of it, I think. Yeah, yeah, and, but then attached to it is a gift shop for pri like the prisoners make the things in the gift shop. Yes. So we go in there, and it was like I think it was November, so we were looking for Christmas presents for people, and we went in there, and the whole place was all horsehair belts. It was just like this entire room was all horsehair related things, but mostly horsehair belts. Yeah, some jewelry, but belts for the big thing. Yeah, but then the other room, they had some Christmas ornaments, they had some paintings, they had some drawings. We loaded up, we bought a bunch of stuff. And uh, did you lose your microphone? Am I good? You're good. Okay. okay. I remember there was a Halle Berry drawing. I got that one for my brother yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, somebody, it was actually very good. Yeah. But then I, I talked to the guy who worked there who was also a prisoner. And he said that the reason that they have horsehair everything is because horsehair is so hard to to make or to braid that you have to be in jail to do it it's because so no time consuming. Because, but yeah, but exactly because like a horsehair belt takes you probably like seven months and nobody's going to pay whatever that costs. Right. You know, so prisoners can make horsehair things. So there's one up on on the um, wall that was a Garfield belt. And it was $250 for a Garfield belt. And it said Garfield, it was horsehair Garfield belt made by a prisoner. And that's a nice thing if I've ever heard oh, of it. Oh, that's such a nice thing. And the, the Garfield was kind of crude. And there was a, two pictures of Garfield and it said Garfield. But we're not wealthy people. No, we're not. We don't make a lot of money doing this. Um, so I was like, oh, not a chance in hell. Yeah. Then we're driving, we found our gas station. Go out, I'm pumping the gas, and while I'm pumping the gas, I'm like, I got, I need that belt. You said, I'm going to regret this for the rest of my life. Yes. I was like, I need that goddamn belt. So we drove back, and it was closed. Gift shop was closed. Gift shop was closed, and then I wanted it even more. It's scarcity. That's the thing. Exactly. Well, get. the second that I decided I wanted it, then I definitely wanted yeah. it, and I had to have it. So then I made so many phone calls. I was calling up. I, was, I called up the, the gift shop. I called up the warden. I called up everybody. I was like, it's a Garfield horsehair belt. It's like on the south wall. It's right in the middle. They knew exactly what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, of course. Long story short, I paid $250 for this Garfield. Here, let's, let's just put it up on this. Garfield. And that's horsehair. Horse hair belt that doesn't fit me at all. Too small, right? It's way too small. In <laughs> fact, I think it's a woman's belt. But you wouldn't have known that because it was just hid hanging on a wall. So exactly. And yeah. I never tried it on right. or anything. Right. No. The gift shop closed. So all, all this does is sit, it sits on my wall. It looks great. In a, in a yeah. Yeah. And I, it's, I have a hook that I put it on and I just hang it up <laughs> on, in like one of the back rooms. Cause, yeah. It's in Because Albertina office. doesn't want that up. Like in the living room right. or anything. Right. I should hang it up here. Maybe I should give it away. Maybe I should give it away. You think so? As no, I think it should sticks? go. I think it should go up. Well, maybe. I mean, it's got to be something I'll, pretty good. I want it. I'd like it to decorate somewhere up here. Okay. But you know what? For if somebody does like has a comment that's just incredible, or if like somebody does something to earn it, I will give this away. H how about you know we have people send in a letter about why they'd want it. Oh, an essay. A hundred word an essay. essay. Yeah. Yep. A hundred word essay. Yeah. Okay. They email us. Yeah. A hundred word me. essay. Yeah. Info at found footage fest. About why? I think an email is too easy. I think it should be a letter. 
a handwritten letter. Okay, yeah, you're right. Put, yeah. put, up the, put up the address. Yeah. <laughs> but just don't put the bullshit sweepstakes. Yeah. Put Garfield don't, Belt oh, yeah, yeah. essay. Put Garfield Belt uh, essay up there. VCR this might parties, be, Garfield Belt essay. <laughs> this might be the best nice thing segment we've ever done. Because By I the have, way, we never rolled a graphic. You guys never told me to. Oh, so we're just shit. out in the middle of... Uh, Roll nice things. I got one to show to you. Okay. All right, we're back. So this is an example of how you can't put that up because you're married. When you're single and you live alone, you can put all the dumb shit up you want. And uh, so I have this next one hanging in my bathroom, and I found it at a thrift store in Cleveland. It was, actually, it's an antique store. And this was kind of behind the counter. It wasn't even for sale, I don't think. And I was like, how much for that? And the guy's like, well, it's, it's not for sale. And uh, the shop's called Sweet Lorraine, by the way. And, uh, That's a good one. Yeah. I spent a lot of time there. It's like two, two floors of stuff. And I said, uh, I'll give it a good home. I said, you know, this, this would really make, mean a lot to me. And so he gave it to me. I think, it was, I think I paid $25 for this. It's a lot for something, but this is a framed picture. For what is essentially garbage, right? Yeah, but this is in my, uh, this hangs up proudly in my bathroom. And I do Airbnb, so they must have a lot of questions. This is a framed picture of the Chicago Meat Packers. They're a group of hunks that uh, are exotic dancers. And uh, it's signed to, um, it says, thanks, Jim. And then all the hunks sign it. Uh, Jim, heat me up, Tyler said on here. And then this is uh, a framed piece of hunk-worn denim. This is actually one of their jeans framed on that's the- That's uh, so great. Yeah, so try to find- That's a, that's, that's a nice touch. Yeah. And I think, Gar I mean, try to top a Garfield belt and the ch a framed Chicago meat I wonder if we can get the Garfield belt through those jeans right there. Oh, Maybe that's can, true. Yeah. Yeah, well, that would be, you'd have to write a hell of an essay for that. <laughs> but you can, you can pry this from my cold, dead fingers. This is staying in my bathroom. Mm. Um, so Again, sexuality. Can we roll the roll the next sexuality corner? Do not roll. This is not even close to sexual. Well, I guess for some what? people it is. But I don't... <laughs> For me, it's not. Well, okay. It's skin, basically. Yeah. Well, yeah. There are hunks dancing around, I guess. Yeah. But that's nice things, everybody. That's nice things. Um, all right. Let's close it out with this. Huh? No. We can close it out? I just rolled the nice things graphic. Oh, you yeah. did. Okay. okay. So that's nice things. Uh, we're hoping for a spinoff show, so we're waiting for those Patreon dollars to roll in. Uh, do you want to... Was that it? No, no, no. Oh, you got I, one more Well, thing? I mean... It, it, I'm always looking for an excuse to play Baby Rapper again. Oh, and yeah. I kind of retired it a little while ago, but I think it's time to bring it back because there's a Beatles movie coming out. Oh, yeah. Um, the premise is, what if no one had ever heard of the Beatles except one guy? Yeah, except yesterday. one baby rapper. Except yeah. one rapper. Except for one little baby rapper. And this is the movie that's coming out oh, this I'm, weekend yeah? in theaters. Oh, I'm this excited is the movie, to see and I, we got an advanced copy. Yesterday, um, the Baby Rapper story. Yep. And uh, so let's just watch a little Baby Rapper, the most confusing video that we have in our collection. Um, it's uh, a baby that uh, sings along to, rap, to uh, Beatles songs, doesn't rap at all. And uh, Try to see it my way. Do I have it never to keep gets on talking till I can go on? <laughs> Why is it your way? When the risk of knowing that our love may soon be gone. We can work it out. Can work it out. All right, so there's uh, Baby Rapper. Look for that in theaters this weekend. It's called Baby Rapper. Okay, great. Yep. One, one ticket for a Chud and another one for Baby <laughs> Rapper, please. <laughs> and Revenge Nerds. <laughs> All right, let's close it out with uh, some more from Judy Shepard and Jazzercise. This is uh, the song Boogie I kinda, Body. I kind of want to hear the. I kind of want to hear the M song. The M? You really want to do the M song? <laughs> Could we? No, let's do Boogie Body. You I have it all queued is, up. This is the crowd pleaser, right? All right. <laughs> I, I can play it maybe next week. I'll play some more M songs. So. Uh -oh. All right, here's Jazzercise, um, and uh, we'll be right back right after that. That's all. That's it. See you next week, everybody. Woo! Keep following me. Yeah. Sugar, do it to it. Keep following. Oh, yes. Again. Terrific. Magnificent. Stupendous. Feel your heart beating. That's good.
good news. Yeah. Okay, you ready? To the right. Shake it. Shake it. Yeah. Get loose, for heaven's sake. Don't you know how to get loose by now? I should think you would. Come on. Mighty fine good time. Yes, sir. Ow! Now give it a little beat. Get up. Until you get enough. We never get enough jazzercising. Never get enough exercising. Oh, your body's hot. Yeah. Ow! Come on now. Circle those hips. Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. The bigger the circle, the thinner the waist. If you want a boogie, get down on the dance floor. Let's go! You should have it by now. If you don't have it, you're never going to get it, folks.